a series of the culture of koi. Six koi, six problems of sub healthy for modern urbanites. Six causes, six solutions. First part, we are plagued by six major problems. In Asia, the number six stands for everything goes well. The six koi come to us with the good wishes of everything goes well to remind us that miracles can happen in our lives. Take a deep breath and have a look at them. They invite us to slow down, relax, and wait for us to take action with their blessing. They are ready to support us. Sometimes we may experience a difficult period or face a difficult living and working environment. And even we may feel that the whole world seems to have completely collapsed. But please believe that it is in this uncertain environment that we can find magical things. Just like a child opening a birthday box, life is full of surprises. When we have faith in our hearts, miracles will appear. We don't have to look everywhere for solutions. As long as we have firm faith, we can solve most of the difficulties by ourselves. Six coins swing happily in the water. Their beautiful bodies dance in the happy water, and their scales shine in the golden, red, and white light. These six relaxed and happy koi gently tell us that what we need to do now is to empty our thoughts, find a quiet moment, practice meditation as a daily habit, and treat ourselves as lucky people. Be happy and grateful, because real happiness and gratitude can open the door to luck. If we are optimistic about all difficulties and hardships, we will struggle, have hope, and be connected with all good things. The number six looks like a pregnant woman with a big belly. It looks very maternal. So the number six represents maternal love. With a strong desire for love and tolerance, we can face all difficulties with depression and all disease without giving up the hope of recovery. Because the number six is the sum of the first three numbers, one, two, and three, it means releasing our energy in harmony and equality. In a harmonious environment, we can carry out physical and mental self-treatment. In life, each of us has a wish, that is to have a healthy body. When it comes to healthy, many people think that the body is healthy without pain. In fact, it is not. Real healthy is the healthy of the unity of body and mind. The latest medical research shows that there is still a transition period between human healthy and disease. That is the third state, the sub-healthy state. Physical healthy but mental problems is not real healthy. In modern society, people are facing more and more pressure on life and survival. Interpersonal relationships are more and more complex, and modern people's heart is more and more impetuous. In this case, each of us has more or less psychological problems and mankind has entered the era of emotional load. 
as people's psychological subhealthy state is not corrected and channeled in time. People have various undesirable behaviors. We live in an era where there is a wide range of goods and services. If we don't want to cook, we can order takeout. If we don't want to do housework, we can call a bellhop. If we don't want to drive, we can find a person to drive for us. Many of the things that make us comfortable in life are readily available. Yet while we seem to be much more comfortable than we used to be, our tolerance for dealing with adversity and frustration has diminished. We can easily lose our patience and lose our temper over a small thing. When we wait in line to shop, we may get upset if we wait a slightly longer time. Sometimes, when we are riding our bicycles in a disciplined and orderly manner in the bike lane, and suddenly an unruly person jumps the lane to overtake us and almost hits us, we may immediately want to go after and scold that person. As science and technology become more advanced, and our standard of living becomes higher, why do we become more sensitive and impatient? In fact, we are plagued by six major problems. One, we are overly sensitive to what is uncomfortable. The more comfortable our lives are, the easier it is for us to get what we want. But we can be overly sensitive to small frustrations and insecurities, and our inner fears and anxieties can be infinitely magnified. 2. Many problems in life are triggered and activated by the switch of survival instinct, which makes us feel dangerous and anxious and painful. 3. Many times we don't want to eat because we are hungry, but because we are in a bad mood. We use food to temporarily alleviate our inner discomfort. This discomfort stimulates our survival instinct and drives us to protect ourselves by eating. 4. Many people have insomnia. We think about things before we go to bed, over and over and over again resulting in sleeplessness. The quality of our sleep is closely related to our sense of security and control. If we feel out of control and insecure in our lives, then we have a hard time falling asleep. Five, Although we sleep in a comfortable bed and are safe, our brain mistakenly believes that the work stress or emotional problems we face are not much different from when primitive people face fierce animals. So the alarm in our brain is constantly being sounded, suppressing our need to sleep and causing us to habitually lose sleep. 6. If we live in an atmosphere that makes us feel uneasy and anxious since childhood, our survival instinct will be stronger than others, and we will be very sensitive to external stimuli. The factors in our lives that make us feel uncomfortable and that trigger our survival instincts have a lot to do with our brains. Our brain can be divided into several parts, such as nucleus accumbent, the limbic system, and the cerebral cortex, according to their different functions. 
Among them, all emotions mainly originate from the limbic system. Since ancient times, the human brain has been constantly updated iterations. In order to better survive, the brain will be more conducive to the survival of people to save those response patterns. The next time the same situation, you will be able to respond quickly. For example, in the case of dangerous situations to escape, or you will die, there is food to enjoy, or the next meal may have to stop. Encounter companions to try to integrate them, to avoid fighting alone, so that when you encounter danger, the greater the probability of winning. The situation we face now is very different from that of primitive societies, but the limbic system retains many emerging events that manifest themselves in various other ways in human life. The stimulus that causes us to react adversely is no longer the initial event, but something similar if not similar to it. A small infant is afraid of puppies and cries out when one leans towards him. After psychological induction, he may be afraid of all puppy-like animals or objects because as soon as he touches them, he turns to think he is touching the puppy's body which triggers the little infant's fear. In life, some people are claustrophobic and they are very afraid of being in closed spaces such as carriages, tunnels, and elevators. If they go through psychological generalization, they may fear and avoid any crowded environment because they treat crowded environments and enclosed spaces as the same thing, which causes them to deeply panic and in turn mistrust and doubt anyone around them. In addition to psychological generalization, the cultural environment we find ourselves in can also spawn anxiety and discomfort, thus lowering the threshold at which survival instincts are triggered. We shared six problems that plagued us in this part. Next time we will continue to share six causes and six solutions to these six problems.